Greetings to my team of 144, all Starseeds, Love Workers, and Way Shores. It is 11242019, November 24th, 2019. This will be my second attempt at recording today. The last recording was total interference, so let's see what we can do. No doubt with all these energies coming in and these frequencies, it is a day of challenges and activations. So a lot of frequencies, a lot of energies coming in the field today. Through this cosmic energies, we had a major blast in the Schumann resonance at 68 hertz today. At the end of this video, I'll put the image of the chart, which is very interesting. More symbols, some major banding of white columns in the chart. So you can see that at the end of this video. Also, at the end of the video, I will transmit a couple new visions for New Earth and the Healing Retreat Center. We had some more synchronicities in these Earth changes today with the massive flooding in southern France, the land of the Cathars, with these waters rising up and we have these fires, so flooding all over this realm as many, many of these massive fires, especially in all over Australia. So our love, our prayers, our healing energy goes out to all beings, human and animal around this realm that are experiencing any negative effects of these earth changes going on. There are many more earthquakes in the last 24 hours, over 116 and 1 1.5 or greater. The largest one was a 5.2 in northern Sumatra. We had a 5.1 in Indonesia, 5.0 in Vietnam, 3.1 in California, 5.0 Taiwan, 5.0 Costa Rica, 4.9 Mongolia. These are some of the bigger ones today in the Ring of Fire in the Pacific, all around the Pacific Ocean has been active. And as I transmitted yesterday, we're, we're going to have an eclipse on December 26th that will be, that's being called the Ring of Fire, or the Ring Around the Sun from the eclipse will be seen. Today, this afternoon, as I was in meditation, the Divine 144 was coming through. And then as I went online, I received a notification coming through Natalie Glasson about the globe of creation activation by the Council of 144. So many codes and frequencies coming in today and activations. So we'll start today's transmission from Natalie Glasson from the Sacred School of Amna. Our definition of creation, an energy at the core of the Creator, which entwines into and through all that is the Creator, supporting the expression and manifestation of the Creator in numerous forms. The mantra from Creator Energy through the Council of 144, I am the source of creation. Into life I am born. With truth from the nucleus of the Creator I give birth to all. I am the Creator of all civilizations, the planet, stars, and beyond. I am the deliverance of new dimensions, creations, healing, and fulfillment. When you work in harmony with me, I will deliver all that is needed. What is needed now is your trust in me, for I have the tools to transform all. I am the globe of creation. I am the creator in manifestation. If you can see me, then you can appreciate and guide all of creation. Let our threads intertwine, for our purpose is to be one. I am the globe of creation, and you are the source of one, Om. Let us breathe in harmony. Our combined activation creates the whole. So a side note from myself that the I Am Presence is our true self, our pure awareness. Barry Long would teach that the only true prayer is to be one with Creator or one with the I Am Presence. And it is not that you are separate from the I Am, but it is this seemingly separation this manifestation of separation that we are healing, that we are resolving. And it is a reunion, the relinking, the remerging with the I am presence, which means living 100% from the heart, being connected to all things, being a true human being in this realm. So don't think of this as 
a transmission from a separate source, but from the source that I am here and now in this body, in the pure awareness, in the pure essence of our true self, our true awareness. To continue with the transmission, greetings. We are the Council of 144. As a collective, we represent every member of the universe of the Creator. We exist at the cosmic level and yet are often recognized as the Council of Twelve, the twelve core energies that are first expressed from the Creator, of which each of you pass through and are an expression of. As the Council of 144, our purpose is to maintain the energy, frequency, and vibration of creation as born from the Creator. The frequency we emanate as the 144 synthesizes into many dimensions and even civilizations upon the earth. During major ascension shifts, the 144 frequency is present to support the necessary manifestations. When the 144 frequency is present in whichever form it manifests, you can be sure a powerful shift and transformation is presenting itself for all to experience. The frequency of 144 at a cosmic level is the vibration of manifestation and creation of the purest nature. We, the Council of 144 of the cosmic level, created and gifted into the universe of the Creator, a source of light known as the globe of creation. This is a tool for souls to work with in order to further understand the laws of the universe of the Creator to perfect the accuracy of manifesting from whichever dimension of the universe of the Creator you exist at, as each dimension requires a different process. Download the light codes of creation and the light DNA strands missing that support co-creation with the Creator, the manifestation of the divine plan of the Creator to continue the journey and quest of truth all are embarked, embarking upon now. The globe of creation born from the source of the 144 vibration at a cosmic level is available in its energetic form for all souls to connect and work with. On first connection it will begin a deep and full reconnection and cleansing of the presence of creation within your being. Then it will magnify the energy and frequency of the creator's energy of creation within your entire being. Following this the globe of creation will empower the presence of the divine plan within your being and even heal any fragmentation which may have occurred, thus aligning you more fully with the divine plan, allowing it to become a powerful guiding light within your life and existence, whether you are on the earth or the inner planes. The globe will download the light codes of creation and the light DNA strands missing to support your natural ability of co-creation with the Creator as well as improving your skills of manifestation and creation. The results will be that you feel a deeper connection and intimacy with the Creator, with a greater understanding of the laws of the universe of the Creator. You will perfect the process of creation, manifestation, expression, and materialization of the Creator at the dimensional frequency you currently reside in others as well. An understanding of the link between ascension and creation will dawn, opening up a blossoming of service to all that is the Creator. It is enormous that the globe is making an appearance energetically to those who are ready to accept its presence, influence, and wisdom. The globe of creation has not energetically appeared to lightworkers since the fall of Atlantis. Why has the globe of creation appeared now? Humanity has now reached the light frequency necessary. In 2020, a blaze of light will manifest which will enhance the light frequency of all beings. The globe of creation needs to be energetically present in order for the energy of creation within all souls to be magnified precisely and perfectly. A powerful synthesis will take place between the light blaze and the globe of creation, opening up a new manifestation of the Creator for all to realize and accept within themselves. It is important to mention that you do not focus upon that which you wish to manifest or create when connecting energetically with the globe of creation. Instead, it refines and opens your being to fine-tune your natural and creator-given abilities of manifestation and co-creation with the creator. Thus, once the process is complete or integrated, that which is creator-guided will manifest with your focus and intention. The steps for connecting with the globe of creation. 
call upon the 144 frequency of the cosmic level to download into your being with the purpose of cleansing and purifying all of your energetic systems. In your own words, ask the 144 frequency to prepare your entire being for an ascension shift, awakening, and blossoming. Ask the 144 frequency to download their energy of creation from the cosmic level into your being. The mantra, with the support of my guides and the 144 frequency of the cosmic level, I wish to connect from the purest essence of my being with the globe of creation an energetic source gifted by the 144 frequency to the universe of the Creator. If it is divinely appropriate and guided by my soul, I wish to download the necessary energy from the globe of creation into my being to support the perfection and awakening of my creation skills and co-creation with the Creator. May I now receive all that is appropriate and guided. Thank you. Allow yourself to receive and experience for as long as is necessary. Ask within your being how many more times you need to connect with the energetic globe of creation in order for the process to be complete within you. Call for the 144 frequency to perfect any ascension shifts that may have taken place, to ground any downloads and to synthesize the energies you have experienced with your physical being and reality. Give yourself time to return fully into awareness in your reality. We, the 144 frequency, give this gift and activation with the globe of creation and trust and respect of your truth. Infinite love, Council of 144. This is from omna.org through Natalie Glasson. In a mantra of today from Marilyn Gordon. I give thanks that I am receiving all the good that the universe has for me now, and I am grateful that I am giving in return. Thank you. I love you. And from Astro Mama, Venus conjunct Jupiter and Sagittarius. Breakthroughs of massive proportions, expansions of love, the universe is blessing you with abundance. On November 24th, Venus, the planet of love, money and pleasure comes to meet up with jupiter the planet of luck wisdom and abundance at the galactic center point 25 to 29 degrees of sagittarius sagittarius the ninth zodiac sign is all about wisdom truth beliefs travel and authenticity venus and jupiter meeting up at the faded galactic center point will bring in a renewed sense of love trust and faith to our lives after an intense astrological month or two the universe is ready to give us a lucky and fated break. There is a feeling of wanting to break free from any restrictions of the past and fly forward to a new future. Many destined breakthroughs could begin to manifest due to this aspect. We will want to create beauty and pleasure inside of authenticity and connection to our higher truths. This is mainly due to their pair meeting up at the galactic center. The galactic center point resides between 25 to 29 degrees of Sagittarius. This portal, located inside of the Milky Way, denotes massive spiritual awakening as well as a deepening of understanding and connection to the higher forces. Venus and Jupiter previously met up here on January 22nd, and you might notice themes replaying from around that date. These two benefic planets meet up with one another every 13 months, but the rarity of this aspect is the fact that one of them, in this case Jupiter, happens to be in his home sign of Sagittarius. The last time they both met up in Sagittarius was 24 years ago, in 1995 on January 14th and November 19th. Again, you might want to look back to those dates as well to see similar themes returning to your life. I happened to discover astrology during this time and how appropriate as Jupiter rules my chart and I also am a natal Jupiter in Sagittarius. Venus conjunct Jupiter and Sagittarius is here to brighten our outlook to the magnificent miracles of life. Just when you thought you were going to lose your stuff over the last month's hard lessons, here comes your saving grace of hope and inspiration. Venus conjunct Jupiter at the destined galactic center point wants to allow a solace of abundance and perspective perhaps not previously seen. 
the two greatest benefics come together to embrace one another is here to bring luck beyond explanation a higher calling of truth and belief that abundance is your birthright and destiny if you have any planets between 25 and 29 degrees of sagittarius then this aspect will provide a boost of love and inspiration to that planet's energies from astro mama and today from elizabeth peru how many times have you had a wake-up call did you listen to it and change your direction are you at that crossroads right now the way ahead is cosmic and it holds every answer you've ever sought if you feel like you're walking a fine line between one reality and the next you're right we're moving from darkness to light and with this comes an altered paradigm for those who have chosen to wake up at this time what once made sense may no longer same goes for relationships and you're okay with it from elizabethperu.com and from the gene keys unlocking the hidden purpose within your dna from richard rudd r-u-d-d to from the november 23rd through november 27th is the gene key 34 for majesty strength and force the beauty of the beast programming partner 20 presence self-assuredness superficiality code own ring of destiny great power thunder over heaven at every level strength comes through the feminine the easiest fight is the one we avoid in the first place our knowing is vast this is the kinesthetic knowing of the body it feels truth in every cell that strength it's not so much about display although it can't be hidden a person moving from their center and talking from their center emanates a palpable field of strength because it is beyond strength and weakness majesty just is it's our true nature it's what we each are we are kings and queens we're royalty we are divinity in movement we are consciousness at play without agenda without anything added we are an embodiment of joy the 34th way the gift of strength individual strength is something absolutely natural to all human beings we are talking about the ability to act in harmony with natural forces the real definition of strength and from the Yi Ching, the ancient book of change, or the book of fortune, from the Chinese, code 34, hexagram 34, great power, thunder high above the sky, awakening the creative essence and alignment with divine timing, majesty is awakened beauty, strength is the initiative of freshness, force is agitated entropy, the realization of creation thus the superior man does not tread upon paths that, that do not accord with established order and that is the natural order the natural law this is for november 23rd through november 27th majesty strength force gene key 3 4 and today from the zolkin times it is blue overtone eagle overtone is the name for the number five and its key words are empower radiance and command the fifth day of any wave spell is quite powerful but the fifth day of the monkey wave spell is more intense much can it be achieved today if you have the gumption be empowered or overpowered is the message here today is blue eagle and it represents creativity mind and vision the eagle helps us see the bigger picture which is very helpful currently due to monkey messing with our heads fly high today above all the mayhem and you'll be empowered by what you see creativity will be empowering today and so d indulge in whatever gets your creative juices flowing from christina papa giorgio blue t blue overtone eagle kin 135 24 november 2019 twenty four eleven two zero one nine six two three equal eleven portal twenty four charisma support happiness success six heaven christ consciousness harmony love romance eleven portal duality partnership kin one thirty five equal nine destiny day another divinely encoded spiritual day imbued with radiance happiness and success codes day five in the blue monkey wave spell of magic joy bliss play merriment and return to innocence 
Today we are using monkey magic to empower our greatest dreams of personal and collective abundance. Tone of creation, overtone. Tone 5 in the spiritual realm, action commands, power empowers, essence radiance. Number 5 represents the center, core purpose, foundation, and central intent. It is the center of the wheel from which all the spokes emanate. This is the phase where the energy of creation returns to the center and radiates outwards. Overtones command the unbounded. They order it to be and so it becomes. Their power radiates from their soul essence through a pure connection to source. This is the true source of unlimited power. Day 5 is the command day where we command our dreams radiating, then out to the universe so that they can manifest on day 10 planetary tone day. So if you have not written down your bucket list or completed your vision board, hop to it and command to spirit exactly what it is you want to manifest be bold and be clear. Command your abundance. Today's question is, what dreams can I empower today in order to unleash and co-create the collective dream of planetary abundance? Divine blessings for commanding your great dreams into reality. The Dream Spell Journey by Valum Votan and Balonik, Kin 135, The Overtone, Tower of Vision. Venus Jupiter conjunction at twilight. Today's Kin 135 overtone eagle 5 eagle marks the peak conjunction of Jupiter and Venus on this 24 November at twilight. This planetary conjunction has been unfolding during a three day period which began on the past 2211, 22 November 2019, Kin 133 and concludes today at its highest point of conjunction. As pointed out yesterday on Kin 134, the midpoint of this three-day Venus-Jupiter conjunction, synchronized with day 121, 11 times 11 of the solar year, both in the Dream Spell count and the 1919 Crystal Matrix. Both systems start on 26th of July. Precisely the planet Jupiter corresponds to the circuit 11 times 11, of the 19 matrix hologram of the solar consciousness, while planet Venus corresponds to the circuit 5x5, five five, the same number which codes the pentagram star of the dance of Venus, thus 11.5 equal 11 times 5 equaling 55, equaling the fifth dimension of prophecy. Today's Kin 135 overtone eagle takes command, tone 5 of the monkey wave spell, which is also coded 1111, wave spell 11 of seal 11. Kin 135 can be expressed with the code 11.5, wave spell 11, tone 5. Therefore it mirrors the circuit 11 times 11 of planet Jupiter and the circuit 5 times 5 of the planet Venus. That is exactly the Jupiter and Venus conjunction. The 11.5 code of today's Kin 135 is also a mirror of the last solar rotation of Volume Votan at Kin 31, Overtone Monkey, which is also coded 11.5, Seal 11, Tone 5. Precisely today is 11 Moluk, 11 Water in the Maya real time, a mirror of the 11 Moon, Kin 89 in the Dream Spell Count, the Kin of the Ascension of Volume Votan, 23 March. 2011. Again, today's code. The codes inscribe the fifth dimensional crystal prophecy. In Lakak, 24 November 2019, NS1.32.5.10510. Kin 135, Blue Overtone Eagle. The mantra for the day, the code is I am power in order to create. Commanding mind, I seal the output of vision with the overtone tone of radiance. I am guided by the power of abundance. And there we have it for today, bro stars and sisters of the light. Let us know in the comments below this video what you're experiencing, what you're seeing, what you're feeling, your visions. I appreciate everyone that comes to this channel to share what they're going through through this great ascension process. It assists myself with bringing my message to more people and assist all the lightworkers 
Warriors of the Light that come to this channel for connecting with all of you and your support and showing others that they are not alone in what they are going through, what they're experiencing through this ascension process, through this great awakening. So I thank you all. I appreciate each and every one of you for sharing these messages, for commenting, for liking. All these things help this channel grow and to get the message out to more consciousness, more awareness through this realm. Be sure to subscribe to the channel below. Click the subscribe button and the little bell next to the subscribe to get notifications. Also check, many people are being unsubscribed from this channel, I've been told. So be sure to resubscribe if you're not getting in your news feed or whatever they call it on YouTube. Under your subscriptions, if you're not seeing from Paul Butler channel, uh, be sure to resubscribe. I'd also like to thank everyone joining us on the mission for the Blueprint for the Healing Retreat Center and Sustainable Community around the realm. The vision of my team is in Ecuador, South America, in the foothills of the Andes. You can learn more about this on primedisclosure.com and click on Dao de Ecuador at the top of the page, Healing Retreat Center. And some new aspects coming through for our vision is on this land that we will procure for this great mission for a healing retreat center for humanity. We are seeing a sacred cave, divine feminine cave, like the Queen's Chamber in the Great Pyramid of Giza. We're seeing this sacred cave and a natural hot spring. So if you are in the Ecuador and southern Ecuador, and you know of land for sale that has a cave and a hot springs on it, please contact us at info at primedisclosure.com. Let us know more information if you know of this location. And I'm seeing it clearly now, so I know that it is there. I just have to find exactly where this location is and then raise the funds for this mission. So I'd like to thank everyone that has supported us so far. We're in the beginning stages. More will be coming out. I'll update you all on the next phase of this, which I'm working directly with my team of the Divine 44 as I to transmit my codes, information, guide through this divine ancient alchemy. And they transmit their codes to me. This, this is expanding, manifesting, growing. So we'll keep you up to date on this in the future transmissions. So to complete this transmission today, I want to transmit to all of you, I'm sure many of you are seeing this also for the new earth. I like people to share what they're seeing for the new earth manifestation through this great awakening, what you want to see as we bridge heaven and earth, bring heaven to earth, the internal with the external, the external with the internal. What I am seeing, what is coming through the I am presence that is coming in fully now, is that through this ascension process and with the portals opening and us rising in frequency, raising in energy, I am seeing us reuniting after the full activation of ascension with, as a collective, we will be reuniting, of course, with our loved ones, that have already transitioned, that have already ascended to the higher realms, the higher planes. We will be reuniting on the new earth, new Eden. We call pure land, land of bliss, the golden age. And of course, without a doubt, we will all be reunited with those we have loved the most. So keep walking your path with heart, warrior of the light. Keep shining your light brightly into the night. I love you all. Namaste.